Hello out there, James here. I wanted to, um, my, my other computer I was working on was kind of acting up. And you know how you get things going when you try to do things on camera. And there was a discussion that I didn't get a chance to really, but I'm going to start all over again. Uh, and it's called, what my title, I want to call this video, was like, what is how it's like to be relieved of slave minded, a minded person? And why is it that something from three or four hundred years ago, how does it affect a black person like myself today? And how, how does it affect black, some black people in the black community or black individuals? Some, some, not everybody feel the same way. And I can honestly tell you from personal experience from growing up. You see, um, you, like in, whatever environment you, you live in, you, you become whatever that environment is. Um, you know, I had the blessing of living in, in the city where I'm you know, originally from near Youngstown, Ohio. And Youngstown, Ohio, kind of taught me a whole different version of prejudice and racism. Now, and, now, and what is the difference, what, how is it different from anywhere else? Well, you know, like in some places, it's really direct. Some people, they let you know. Some people are so bold with it, they pretty much tell you right in your face that they don't like black people. And but when you live in a hot place like Ohio, in the town where I'm from, it's kind of reserved. It 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 is really like they see you, but they don't want to see you. They hear you, but but you know you just there just for for a couple of things. Either you can you know either you're some kind of athlete, or you might might be some good musician. But other than that, if you're one, if you're not one to two or maybe three occupations, you're, you're useless as far as in 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 that mainstream society. And how how do I know, know these things? Just about the way people respond and how they way they interact with you when you when you sit down and you have to open, just having a conversation. It don't even have to be about such thing as race. Just, just sit down with some individuals and just watch it and just and just watch people you, you know it's almost like you got to be like some people who like like who are psychiatrists who or people who study people's personalities and and different things like that but that's how it's really you can t you, you can really tell and so I say this because based on experiences, you know, I grew up, you know, I went to elementary school, you know, in, my, in the inner city, and it was mostly black. And just like any other childhood, you know, you go, you have your little scrub, 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 squabbles and scrubs and stuff and struggles and things. But when I got to junior high school, really, that's why I discovered racism. Be and it was kind of messed up because, you know, seventh gr when I was in seventh grade, walking on the other side of the building, you you have, you know, you have someone call you N word because you 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 you're walking among, you're not even doing anything, you're just coming through. And it was it was it was some racial tension back then, and this was around 79, 1980. And so, you know, you would see people get in a fight. It would be, we had two principals. It was one black and one white. And they would have the black principal had to separate and the whites had to separate. It was just tension. It was tension during that time. This, this is in the early 80s. This is like 80, 81. About 80, 81. So, after, you know, I went through there, you know, you know, I got in fights like any other kid with other, other, other people. <laughs> I had my share of squabbles, but when I got to high school, 
I, was, I went back to the inner city school in my town and again it was it was when I was around black schools when I went to which is a black I started in the black high school in my ninth grade year I never had to worry about too much racial tension even though that there was some stuff going on because sometimes some couple white black dudes would jump on some white dudes as initiation I mean sometimes they once in a while you get you get something like that and I mean it was kind of messed up then you know around about the 10th or 11th grade 10th grade I went to a another school where it was outskirts of inner city but it was black and it was another group of people an ethnic group of people that didn't get along kind of see eye to eyes I don't know why like they were Greeks and blacks that, that were bump head Greek Americans these are Greek Americans and blacks would go at it sometimes but I when I got around people I never encountered you know I don't really have too many squabbles at that time and then when I get to my junior, and so my mother moved again, so I went to another high, high school in Liberty, Liberty High School. And again, it's a good racial, a racial mix up there of people. But it seemed like wherever there's a racial mix up of people, there's always race, there's always racial stuff going on in some form or fashion. Either it's from student to student or teacher to student or administration. It was in some form or fashion, even um, in junior high school. I mean, in, even in, not junior high school, but in vocational vac school, I almost got jumped by some white dudes. And I had to get another black dude to get my back. But after all the going through all that, I didn't, I didn't have no animosity towards all white people. I just think that was just something, you know, when I was younger, I just thought that was just something that, you know, just typically some people, you just have a butt of head of personalities. But you got some people that do, that that put that on. And it's really, is taught through generations of generations of people, how to, you mistreat other people. This this is the truth. So it, it, it put up misjudgment. And then some people just do, do stuff just to, to be evil about it. And even when I, you know, because here, here I went to church. And my, at the time when I was in high school and junior high school, I, I went to a, a Catholic church, you know, and it was mostly white people. Um, it was, and I, it, so, but, but, this, but here, and, and, you know, and I was the only like one, two, one time I was the only black kid in among my CCD class and it's a different feeling it's a different feeling when you are because you got these other kids coming from the suburbs and you know but they, they but you can tell by what their background by the way their parents because their parents never had too many interactions with black people and so it's like you it's, it's like you're not it's like they don't know how to react to you. They don't know how to respond to you. And I was kind of super sh shy, but I was friendly though. But it's just that, but they never, I never felt like I was a part of their, like they would have events and stuff like that. I, the only person that would invite me would think about me was the, the teacher herself. But it was not like we were close or anything like that. And I saw that same mindset even when I went to, not just in church, but when I went to high school. And even after I seen people, after I seen, was in high school. And you see that people, you learn a different type of pe personality of people. And particularly, if somebody is white, they they really don't want to acknowledge you. When I I remember seeing some classmates one time, and that this is after I graduated from, after we all graduated from school that. They didn't. Want, I was the only black person that was in this restaurant. Wanted this one thing. It was the restaurant I wanted to that for. I was because I was hungry. I wanted to go and sit down. And I remember there was four classmates, ex classmates that I knew, and they were. They, I graduated before they was, and the only one that would come over and at least speak to me was the one that lived moved out of town. 
But the other three guys would not even speak to me. And I was like, wow, you know. So some people, even after high school, they don't change. But yet, here I go, you know, I go to a church, you know, with the with the mindset of God and loving Jesus and loving the image of, of, on the building, but the people who, the images on the building don't fit the criteria of the people, some of the people I'm looking at. And, and why does, and, 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 this, and this goes back to slavery. They want you, to, when, when you see the image of what people call the white Jesus, black people, this it, it, it's like, wow, it's just trained to look at the image. So when you look at the image, you, you think of the people, even though that they're mistreating you like, I don't know what, and thinking that you're not too intelligent, you're not too, you're not too, um, not too bright or whatever, and, and black, black people are, are just, you know, they're there. They're, they're there for fun and they're there for entertainment, but that's as well as more. You know, you're not gonna break bread with them, anything is, and have a million to your family and nothing like that. And and this is the truth. This, this is this is the reality of the way people think. And not only that, it's just white people, but other nationalities look at the black American person the same same way. When, when racism is put on once you step step on the shores, racism is put on when you step on America's shore. Yeah, we have a whole diversity group of people. Diff some different religion, different walks of life, but the same spirit that come that that, that 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 has been around for you know since the beginning of time, since the United States there was a United States, whatever however it started up, it's still here. And so for some African Americans, black people in this country, they can't get over it because how can you get over something when you constantly is reflected back at you. How are you gonna get over something when when you see that when you learn that your father, <laughs> your father, your grandfather went went through it? How how do you get over something like that? How do you get over the fact? And so you know, black people do sometimes. When most of us want to get along, get along and move along. Some of them just want to be left alone. But sometimes people, and sometimes a lot of times, the ones that that they come, the ones who are prejudiced, seem like, they seem like the ones they have to. There's some agitators that want to get get somebody riled up. And it's like, and then you get, and then you get innocent people. You get you get riled up, and then you you have a situation where somebody is losing. You know, getting beat up or get jumped on for something that they didn't even do. It's somehow that how how that happens. And and it's somehow you know in the church how it's kept away from people. At the same time, they telling you you're equal, but they are showing you totally different. And I've experienced this all my life, and even up till about a couple of years ago. And I didn't see it just from one group of people. I seen this in two group among two groups of people individually. First, I was around some white people. Then I was around some Hispanic people. Some that had that same mindset. And here you feel with the kingdom of God. And you got the people that you think is filled with the kingdom of God because they can't just they, they they reality. And they think that God has to look, has a certain favor, whatever they favor, God must favor. The people who think like this, not everybody, but there's some people who think like this, that can look like them. So, you know, we, we, you, you, you study and you read the Bible and you, Going to church with them on Sunday and Bible something on Sunday and you and you find out how people real and let me tell you something you find out how people really is you find you find out how some people are and you find out why we had our Sundays are segregated 
because some people, if let's say if you're a Christian, the say was a Christian, and we we Christians, whether we're black, we're white, we're Hispanic, Asian, Arabic, of all. If we say that, then the body you would figure the if one is hurt, the whole body hurt, right? Well, some may feel passion. Some may really, there's some of each group with a little, little passion. But majority of people, you 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 go to go to church, but don't feel that way towards black people. They don't. And even though a black person never did anything to them, they they didn't they didn't jump on them or anything. It's just as soon as you come into the presence. It's, it's but so really what it tells me is that it's something is it's it's, it's a, really it comes out it's a spirit that makes it turn something soon as you get and it's basically is an operation of Satan that that, that, that some people are un, under. So what you seeing now is that something was trying to get started between one nationality versus another nationality. Which is, is crazy because it don't have to result to something like that of somebody not liking somebody simply because they're not liking somebody. I mean, common sense can tell you, you know, overall, wherever you go in some part of the earth, there's going to be a, a different culture, a different race of human beings that the most high have put on this planet. And it's just messed up that they pay homage to some people. Some of the people pay homage to their God, not the God that you might think it is. But that's just, that's a discussion for another time. But the reason why black people can't get over it is because it's in the one. Some people know it's, it's in the Constitution, and some white people who, when they look back at them slave movies. They saw how the way, the way, and they were taught. Some white people were taught this: that blacks were not too intelligent. That black people were not not three fifths of their property, but they, they they're not even human. Now I know that's hard for hard stories to some people, but there are some there are some people, white people, that this came from. This 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 really did happen. So that's what the mindset came from so and then when you look at at the time during during the, the early history of America there was servants and even though even even though African Americans black people the native blacks of this land did everything that built this country built and accomplished invent things and look uniquely they still fought for this country they still was treated as three fifths of human being. Even just go ordinary life, someone can start trouble in the white community, come to the black community, and, and, and falsify and lie, and say that. And, and, and the spirit cares from that day all the way to now. That all they gotta do is pick up the pick up the. How does that? They did they did this in past times. There were white people that did this. And, and during that time, like that, that this, that Negro touched my daughter, and it was a mob. You know, the police would come, or or it was some bounty hunters that would go find out who touched this this white woman or white girl or child or or something like that, and it would bring terror and rain down on it. And sometimes, or they send some law enforcement. Oh, these these they they, they kind of rough them up. The, the, the spirit from back then in the early 19th century is the same spirit that people get called on black people today for things. You know, and they're not used to black people. And, and they, the, the people back then, they took, when you look at some of the pictures, there, there were some men that were, innocent, that were innocent of crime. Black people that were innocent. That people would lynch them and have public lynchings. And then you have some people that would mock, and you, you, if you see those old pictures from back in that time, they 
would show people standing looking up at the dead body of a black man with his, with his lynched up. Hold on one minute. They, they, excuse me, get back to what I'm saying. They would sit back and they would, they, they would let you have the, the, the photos. But, but, but what black people are going to figure out what they, like they've done in history, what they did like they did in the, in the Bible days, they're going to try to erase it out of history and say that African Americans, blacks, were, 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 were not slaves, they were indigenous workers. This is the next thing that's coming, that they don't want to take fault and what they what they what they did, and, and with little that they know, that they, that people are gonna wonder what really did happen, where did this hostility come from? So, so therefore, you have someone accusing somebody who didn't didn't do the, didn't do what they do because the black community at that time knew. Not to do stuff like that. Knew not to, you know, you, you better not go and even think about having a relationship with a white female because it would start a mob attack. And it, it was illegal for a black man to be with a white woman. It, it could literally cost you your life. And this was, this was true. This was his history. And even though, don't matter how, how tall and muscular and built, whatever, you, you better not. Let's let's a white male find out that you you laid and if it was his daughter or his, his sister or something like that, that that was it, and some that black man would have to die. So this this ties into sometimes some some black people and white people don't like seeing interracial couples because of that because of something like that because even though that even though that white female may not be like that when they when they see the black when the, for the black man see, see when the white some white people see that they see that three-fifths of a human being and whatever whatever their grandfather their father and father father taught them and I've heard some white people have told me this in my face that the reason why they didn't they didn't prove an interracial relationship and mostly time and I seen that it was similar in the black community as well as the white community. The reason why is because of genetically being wiped out. One, the, the bloodline. Because, you know, everybody likes to look at somebody that looks like that resembles them in their own, in their own, in their own nationality. Two, it is, uh, they, they, they used to say, well, what about if, uh, if my child, this was back in the 90s, and I remember, I used to hear this back in the night, what, what people, how my child, you know, I'm gonna feel sorry for your child because they're gonna get picked on and they're, gonna, they're not gonna know who they are. And, and, and this, this really did happen. Some people, this is, their just, this is why they don't, this is the reason why they don't want it. Number three, three, they, they can't stand, no, look, somebody, some people, who are prejudiced in them little towns and little, let's say you live in an area where it's predominantly white, they that that's that's it stands out. And it's like, you know, wow, you know, like, wow, I never you know, to some people it really bothers their conscience. It this this is the truth. And even though that even though now the interracial relationship went all the way back during the founding fathers. And a lot of people, some people may not know, or they or they don't know, that Thomas Jefferson had 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 kids with Sally Fleming. If you can look, if you look at the, the Thomas Jefferson's family and Sally and, and that slave woman, they they look identical. It's just that they just they, they, they one is black and one is white, but they but they're related. But the blacks and they did this years ago. So that was so that was the, the first white male and black female and he owns slaves and everything and that's true and it's to some day to some 
some people, some black people find that disgusting because it's like here, the reason why the black people don't want it because when the white male would go out there, he would take and, and he would rip, he either he would, you know, come up into the back door of the cabin and tell, tell that black slave male, I'm going, I'm going to have your wife tonight. She going to come serve me. And she, and if she don't serve me and she don't like this, you're going to get a beating. This, this, this is the reason why. And then she was made it look like, then it was kind of like a power thing. Cause, cause these white males, even in the 1700s, had, had, had pop. You know, they had money. They, they had richnesses and things. So some, they, they were, and it was some black females. Yeah, there was some interracial stuff going on. And it, but they just kept it hush hush. Which, is that is documented. You find out. And, and, I mean, not every interracial, but this, but the reason why some black people find it offensive. Is because of what happened. It, some their grandmothers were raped, their aunts were raped, and that's how some of them probably could could be. Um, and that's that affects t t until this day. Then it it was believed in some cases, from what I heard, that the people with the two people in the in this union of black and white have a child that. That the child of the two is is going to ha have to make a choice, but most likely will identify with the one side of the family, which is the Caucasian side of the family. I have seen I have seen cases where this that there are some people who are mixed race, don't with, with, don't acknowledge the black side of the family, but it's on the white side of the family. So that's another thing, or it can work vice versa. So this is the reason why, why some people find interracial relationship a taboo, just like if you would find just as taboo as somebody with two men, two women. I'm just just telling you the reason. This is the reason, but and also how it, it was interpreted in history, how it plays out to now. And so when you ha when you have these incidents racial incidents it puts it, it puts some tension on, on the relationship. It can put some tension because here was the two of even though that you know that you know you can love this person but it but down deep down there's something like there's a misunderstanding. It, there's not this I believe it's you, some people don't feel connected. They don't. They don't feel that spiritual connection. Black women and black men. You know, if you get with the black, right black women and right black men, they feel an interconnection. Same with white women and white men. They feel an interconnection. So, I believe that both feel betrayed when on opposite, they men go out and get up against particularly with other races of people. I mean, some people don't mind. Some people, some people don't mind, but some people. This is the reason why, you know, it's like why even up up into twenty twenty. Yeah, there's some people still find out kind of, but this also how it's connected something from the past and something in the present, and how it's is all is connected. So it ties into this and, and how it affect. It, it, how it, how I was taught, like most individuals, that that it affect my spiritual part of my side, and you know, and, and, and it's and it's a toss in between. With any 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 person you should get with, should be someone should be like your mate, and that's that 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 could be a topic another day. But when you love somebody. It is, it's more because are they going to love you enough to stand with you in the crisis? Now, my personal feeling is I'm starting to see okay. that even bad. though that black women and black men sometimes are at odds with each other, in the end, 
dick, if you get with the right opposite person, opposite sex, that procreate to create children, so, you, them the only ones gonna stand at you in the end. And they, they, and the black man and the black woman are the only ones that can, can really have that strength to go through the rigorous thing of, of racism, systemic racism. And and I and I, I can see where the Pan Africa is coming from. Say, you gotta stick together because you know you, you both fight the same battle, even though they try to put the woman over the man in in America and, and probably elsewhere too. But the thing, they, so I can see their point because at first you gotta sit down and 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 listen to the whole thing. Don't just listen to one thing. Because I, I used to hear stuff like that, so, well, yeah, but it, it, it's nice, though. But sometimes it's something special with same-race couples. I'm just going to come out. It's some, I think it's a better understanding, cultural, and everything. If you got the right person that's going to stand in your corner. And if you got the right type, if you're a black man, and you got the right black woman standing in your corner. And trust me. Or, or something's, you know, real, near that line. That she's she's standing, she supports you. And and black women, one day they, they'll figure out that it, so I was just like, it, you know, of course it doesn't you're gonna find out spiritually that some or there's a spiritual thing to it. And a lot of when I when I seen some Hebrew brothers and some some brothers that's in the Pan Africanists and other. You know the people. What I learned that they had, what they had something in common. What this discussion was, that was the same thing. Is about they they want to look at like other nationalities. They want to see their own, have their own they people, to, and look at for generations to come after they leave here. That hopefully that their children will pick the the same person of the same race, even, even the same spouse, and same thing. And so. The reason why some black people don't accept it is because some it could be biblically, because it's, some, it, it's something it could be biblically, like in a case where you know that this person of this nationality worships a different god. That could, that could be spiritually. The second second thing is that when they see the, the person, they see they, they have to identify what the want that there's a group of people that oppress them and they're looking at the same imagery that that some that that oppressed press them thirdly is that it is in it it, it, it seems like it is it lines up with, with the spiritual spiritual system and but is it but for for black men and black women it's it's kind of hard to find a which one is 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 the solid me I think that's why some black men and some black women go outside and find other different nationalities, which is purposely up to their choice. You know, which, but it, when it comes to these incidents around the world in America, it, it's testing testing you and knowing that there's the truth behind what was designed to come against the black men and the black women, as far as take take you out take your procreation out of it some somehow they think that the people who are designing this thinking that they're not going to figure this out so they keep them at odds and at, at bay and there are black people seeing this and saying we need to come together no don't do don't do this because you put you you, you you fight you your battle is not with your woman. Because if and then said, and, well, he was arrested. What what it is is that they see that so then I'm like, well, four to five days after I'm oh, sorry, let's this thing keep interrupting. Oh computers I have another computer. But anyway, yeah, but the reason sorry. why they oppose yeah oppose it on the black side is because just like 
some white people they don't want to be knocked out of existence but but with black men and black women it's quite a bit different because how can I say this because you have a system that literally wants them to stop this is where the abortion claims came in and target the African American mostly target the African American community and the plan was the couples who were white that can't have children they would pay fraternity clinics opposed to abortion clinics you know abortion clinics can go both ways but they don't really want to see the white population drop down and this and this this comes into a, a whole different arena different effect and, and so there's, there's other ways to come at the black men and black women you can what put something in food put something in medication and this was also done historically to black men they were in, injected with syphilis they were put you know I mean, black women had a hard, had the hard, had the hardest with birth. The most barbaric things with birth. There was just stories about that. To try to damage her insides up, and then sometimes something would happen to the baby later on in life. That's that's out there is historically. So this is all tied tied into the slave mind system in church. And going before God is the only way that you, you can keep your sanity in this crazy world. And, 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 and even though other people got their own personal struggles, the same struggles as everyday life, the black person has that in 10 times more because the, the opposition of the spirit is coming against this them. And you've seen it play out when you see, watch watch uh, social media, Facebook, YouTube, you are seeing these these different things because it's it's some there is a connection there between the black man, the black woman, and the most high God. That plays back in the scriptures. And this is and so what 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 what, what is it? What's because yeah <clears throat> we are all made in God's image, but what is about the black man and black woman that people really they, they they don't like them but they want they want their money they, they can't be around them but they you know, but they don't want to lose it you know what i'm saying they, they, we don't want to give them this thing want to get that so it's like you know being an african and male and females being tossed to and fro to and fro to them and it's to the point that and it's even being acted out with with these police shootings even, and even though there's, there's already some little bit self-destruction among the community, but this self-destruction among in the black community was create, create a body of the oppressive community. It was it was the people who oppress and traumatize put, put the and this goes back to slavery <clears throat> too because when it, when they when they broke down the black man and and, and and broke the spirit of a black woman. That kind of made it, it set things set things off, and this is what slavery did. So the generations of that the, sla the the descendants of the slaves, which are the blacks today, are feel, are reaping what are feeling the same reap, and they seeing the same oppressor change different occupations from time to time, from a justice system, from the court system, from legislation system. And even if they had to hire and deflect, and we had to hire a black person to train them up, and and they probably talk about this in their clubhouses, in their private locations, so he can be like us. And 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 so we don't, cause we we don't want to make it look like a part of the world that what we we have a we come against these people. Racism, and it's the same. Racism has been around for a long time. This is the reason why it, 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 no one can get over. This is why it, it won't settle. 
and people can talk about it, that's fine. I mean, but how much talking you can only do? I mean, people can have discussions about it, but there's no there's no restitute. There's no apology. There's no reparation. There's no there's no repair of the, the time, decade after decade, century after century of American blacks going through this. And George, and this comes back to the George Floyd. It really, the whole world seen it. Now the United States is is up to them to make the choice. Now you put in front of the whole world that this thing of four hundred years of this 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 system, systemic system has been been grinding and running and grinding. And some people come to this country. When they see the blacks, they don't know the whole story. They just think that you know they're just lazy. They they they, they don't want they don't want to apply themselves. But blacks, there are some black people in this country have applied themselves. But every time when they apply themselves, they throw another barrier. They 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 get you going to college, and let's say you do go go to college. But you might not like you have to compete just like with other nationalities. Of people for a job, and you might be one of the ones to make it through. And in time you, you you graduate from college, your credit is ruined because if you don't pay back your bills and loans on time, it goes into your credit. And they got a credit system set for the that on, on African Americans <coughs> opposed to other people. So that's a systemic financial thing going on. Every time black people try to rise up, that he would try to set themselves apart. In this country, probably, and probably elsewhere too, they, they throw a, a monkey wrench with it. They throw a monkey, another monkey wrench with it. And so, and they and with the persons coming from another part of the world, they don't throw that throw their monkey wrenches at them. They give them some kind of special privilege and grant and things like that that they don't have to pay back. Because maybe they got something going on with, with their personal government that the American blacks don't even know this. So when the American blacks wants want to do something, come up out of their situation, and some have, but it, but it, it need need to be more. There's, there's a segment of society that don't want want this to happen. Excuse me. You see, black people really do want to move forward, but but it's the system that keeps that keeps reminding them you're not qualified. Why? Your, your credit. Okay, I, I'll fix my credit. Now what? Now it's something else. Now it's um, in, in references. Now it could be anything. So you always have to go through don't go through an obstacle. That most people probably don't have to go the same route, and they only go let a couple, couple, th- couple ones come through because they think they're gonna have, they got them mind like they would hate, they, they gonna hate each other. Why would they want to help one of their own? And so when we cut each other down, and we put, and the black men put down their women, and black women put down their men, they they, they, they already win it, the division. And, and they're and it's, and it's separating them with sexuality. They're separating them with things. They're separating them with who, who out of the nuclear family. They're separating them so they don't have no kids no more. They set, cut down their population. And they, excuse me, and they separate. Them. And this was going, this was going on. That's how it's connected to, to today. And this, what I have witnessed over time, that what what broke me free, because you know I was kind of slave minded, kind of like a pretty much a slave minded black person too. Until as I got older, I started seeing life a little bit more differently. I, I found out in the end when I, you know, it was good thing that they put that African American Museum in Washington D.C. Because 
even though I, I didn't get a chance to go, one day I, I have been out to Africa to see the land of. But when I went to when I went to DC, and and, and I went to the African American Museum down there, it told me something more about people about people that there's things in there I didn't even know. I, I read some things, I researched some things, but it's it, it's unique things about the Black American that some people would know. This that even some black people that don't never have been down there don't even know. Then it's, it's a unique experience, and I learned that. And then when, and then, and then you tie it over to scriptures, and you tie it over to the Bible, then you tie it over to this. That you're not a cursed people, you're not a, a people of entertainment. You would never curse people. That's something that the system set set up in different religions. Based on the color color code you know, across the world, that's the truth. But I just wanted to make a quick note about this and how you know be proud of your skin, how how it, it is, and how some of us starting to the point that there's a separation. They want to separate. There's there are black people that want. And are, are going to separate themselves from mainstream society because to get their spirit back into alignment in, in, in inner he healing with, among themselves, and it's not and and it's not being racist or prejudiced or anything like that. But it would technically make sense if to, to be among yourself because you understand and know what the problem is among your own people. These some other groups can, don't understand that. Some other groups because they don't care and it's not their problem. All they do if they can make the money off of them, it, it's just business as usual. And that's the truth. That's the fact. But one thing I got to I have to learn that we are amazing people, and I'm glad that I, I come out of the slave minded that think that I was less than. And it's something that, you know, some people don't see see it until you, you, you're going through some experiences. And the, the second thing I can say that was listening to some of the black folks on YouTube. They woke me up. I mean, from, there have been certain Hebraic ministries that woke, woke me up. Just individuals online I, I'll shout out to man the knowledge and, 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 and what I did was my key to really focus among just black people is watch only black people on YouTube to learn and, and get difference of opinion on and what what their topic and what their re research is from and I found out like wow some some of them are brilliant there's some brilliant black youtubers on on YouTube intelligent black men and black women I mean some intelligent oh my god that it is it, it it was astounding the information that some have to go and research and bring out truth and a lot of it you know but you know some there, there's been some Christians that have come with the truth and some people that weren't Christians there were some people that in the pan African movement that kind of I see things their way um, I, I, I understand why they are the way they feel the way they do because it's like no other group every other group have have their own and proud of their own why can't why can't we you know and I sat down there and I said they got a good point but all of a sudden when they when they decide to do this you know mainstream media or social media say that they're, they're black separatists wait a minute how does they have black separatists a black separatist don't go around antagonizing people and assaulting people and robbing people and beating people up and say I'm, I'm a supremacist. If anything, why is it that when black when blacks want to do their own thing, they get it's, it's black supremacist. Like there there ain't no black supremacist. And I've seen the Nation of Islam. They, I, 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 I said, I, he's he. He got photos of him taking pictures with Jewish people. How's he? He's anti-Semite. 
what he he don't want to kill white people. I mean, I said Farrakhan don't want to kill no white people. I'm like, no, he never said nothing like that. He, he just, just if anything, when he, when he get black people together, he's talking about you need to take a self accountability, eat, protect yourself, and be that man. When the million man march, that's that was basically was his message. Take care of your family, your family. Take care of your children. That's what Farrakhan did, and I'm not a, a nation of Islam. I'm not a, a member, never was a member. But when I see that they were attacked, I'm like, wait a minute, is this this? He didn't say anything. He just spoke truth. And there even some white people have taped him and seen that he was has some truth. The nation of Islam has some truth. I'm just saying. And then there's some Hebraic ministries out there that got some truth. And, and it come and first I was kind of wrestling with some things what they were saying, but in the reality of it, overall different dimensions showed me this is the reason why. Just sit down and listen to a person. Don't just jump and just make accusations until you see what they do. And I never hear any of nobody come jumping on a group of people, snatching white people up off the ground and kidnapping them and hanging them in the tree. Black supremacists don't do that. Black supremacists don't go around jumping on little white kids and white women. Black supremacists don't do that. They don't do that. They don't go around beating people up. They react if someone jumped in, but it's, but it's, if you jump, then they go. That's the natural just to defend yourself. So how is it that they? Uh, what makes them a supremacist group? I don't understand that. For standing your own ground, when you have other, you have other people doing the same thing. Every group of people got their own people that they're proud of, and they and they they got their own community, they got their own language, and and this is what I, I I've observed. But every group of people have their own group of people, like to be around and rather be around their own group of people. Every nation of people I've been around, from the East Indians, the Asians, different Asian groups, Hispanic groups, the Middle Eastern Arab groups, Af certain African groups, people from Eastern Europe, Western Europe, all, everybody have their own. Even in America, you know, you have Amish people around Amish people, the Kenite people around Kenite people. Everybody, everybody separate. They have their own community. And the Amish community have their own community. The Native Native American Indian have their own community. They have their own. They do their own thing. They got their own land with their own property. So when black people say they want to do their own thing, oh, you're being a separatist. But the but other people are already automatically doing it. No, they're not being separatists. But I under one what the one they want to separate themselves because hey, you got someone. You go to a nice neighborhood. You know, they just, you know, hello, police officer, just a black man breathing down the street. I mean, what you expect? It's like, then it's like, damn, let's get our own neighborhood and let's get our own thing. Wait a minute, why do you want to separate yourself? But wait a minute, you, but you got people out there that just, they don't want to feel comfortable around somebody because they think a black person just, they moved into the apartment. I mean, this is, this, I mean, if you see, it's just crazy. You're like, no, this can't be happening. And you have to, and thank God for phones, man, because people wouldn't be believing. Like you must be, you you must be lying. No, this person got this issue. So, no, I, I understand why they have to do what they got to do. You know, and some, you know, some, you know, it had to. There was a white militia, so so, and Klansmen and everything. So so, it got to be a black militia to, to defend, defend the stuff. Not that they trying to. Antagonize somebody. They, had to, they got to defend the people that's getting killed. Ain't no oppressed people gonna let you oppress them and, and maim them and kill them, and that someone gonna get a response. And that that makes sense. So I understand why it had to be a. I was watching an article and I see it got to be a black militia. It was a white militia been doing it. And. You know, but with, with the white militia, they go up against the government and things like that. Black militia don't go up against no government. They protect the people. 
in, in self training. They're not going up against the government. I never heard a black militia go up against the government. I don't. But why is that the white one be challenging the government? They'll try to take on the army and whatever. It's the truth. That's a fact. But nobody wanna talk about that. But anyway, I just want I don't mean to go up to that, but I just wanted to the reason why all these things are connected is because the reason is out of everything can be the history of the country and the spirit of it is today. The spirit of prejudice, racism, affects today as well as back then. That's the reason why. And, I, you know, I grew up with the mindset, but once you come in the truth and God show you some things and change your whole outlook on life. And I think a lot of people are waking up and actually responding because we, we, we at the end of time and it's time for change. And if people won't change, then what can you do? They're going. They're going. It's going to change. They're not going. You can't keep the same system. But the ones who've been oppressing with the same system for for the last centuries, their system's coming down. And it's either way they don't like it, but God's caused it to come down, the Most High. That's why it's crumbling, and people can't do what they do and feel privileged to do it. That's what's really going on. That's why people are acting out frustrated, mad, going off, because they feel like they, they com they're comfortable being com compromised. They never have felt this way, how other groups of people that they oppress, when they feel in uncomfortable. Now they have to feel uncomfortable. Not a good feeling, but it's reality. We in a whole new different decade. Start of a decade, start of the turn of the century. So it's something to think about but that's the reason why. And the only way that this can heal is to do the right thing. You know, do what you've done for other people that you've done wrong to of the past thing. It may not solve the whole healing, but it will begin the healing process. So we won't have to have this same. If people stop talking about it and start acting on it, it would, it would be a lot better place to live. So, <coughs> that, that's my, my conclusion of this, this video. So, and why it, it brought me up, up, up to a, under conviction for one thing, open up my eyes for another thing, and start trying to s support my own, my own, because everybody else do, and I always would interact with other people. But first one is first preserve your own. And everybody and every nationality of people goes by that model. But and they don't tell you, but just you don't have to tell you. Just watch a person's actions. When you see their actions, that tells you a whole lot. Well, and even if you don't speak their language, just sit back and observe people. You'll see you'll see what I'm, you'll see what I'm talking about. And most people have to agree. So that's why there's a, there's a, a segment of African Americans that want to separate themselves. So they need to be healed. And they need to be free and choose not for someone to antagonize and fear to the point that it can cause them to feel trauma. Mental trauma. Racism can be mental trauma. That's what it came from. That's what the, the slavery system came from. Mental trauma. So my name is James. Till next time, you guys take care.